Every single time we get on a motorcycle, we know that it's an inherently dangerous hobby and we try and mitigate that risk in many different ways. Firstly, we tell ourselves that we're not gonna do anything stupid. We're just gonna take it slow. This chain of thought, of course, only lasts until we hit the twisties or a long stretch of empty straight road. We wear helmets, not necessarily to protect us while riding, but if the unthinkable happens and we fall off. The same goes for our jackets, pants, boots and gloves. But why not employ a safety system which has been saving lives in cars for decades? Airbags. Well, the answer to that is very simple. Up until now, airbag suits have been prohibitively expensive to such a degree that most of us thought they were mainly for MotoGP pilots and it never even crossed our minds that they would become mainstream. But 2020 is here, so let's see if the motorcycle airbag market is done with its ridiculous pricing and is ready to sell some real volumes. Stick around. Airbag suits are race suits with airbags in them, obviously. All of their electronics are housed within the suits themselves and when turned on they will inflate in the blink of an eye if they detect that the rider is about to have a crash. They also know the difference between a real crash and an almost crash, so the technology has come quite far. Unfortunately, they are still very expensive. But most of us don't really need track day full leather suits with airbags in them. We need a jacket with all of that airbag technology goodness built inside, easy to take off, breathable so that we don't sweat when going off-road, light and reliable. Well, it even seems that with all of these unreasonable requests, we do have quite a bit of choice out there. Last year in March, a company named Ixon launched an universal smart airbag vest. The vest is designed to fit under almost any riding jacket, whether it's textile or leather. It uses inflatable protectors that deploy in case of a crash. These protectors target the back, the neck, the collarbones, your ribcage and your stomach. The downside of the system is that all of its electronics are housed in a separate box. This box or brain of the system is then plugged into the back of the jacket and it would continue to monitor all riding conditions for as long as it's turned on. When it decides that you are about to have a crash, it will send a signal to the vest in order for the airbag to be inflated. The downside of this whole system is unfortunately the price. The vest itself is about $450 and the electronic brain box for another $450 and a $900 pill is a bit hard to swallow. Enter Dainese. Back in June of last year, they brought to market their first ever airbag vest which could be worn under any third party jacket and also did not need to be connected to the bike while riding. Their D-Air Smart Jacket is made of a flexible and breathable fabric so you could pair it with your favorite jacket. It will protect your back, your neck, your chest, its electronic systems and sensors are fully integrated into the jacket so no need to plug anything in and compared to any other track day airbag system which Dainese sells, it is a steal at just $700. The only maintenance that falls on your shoulders is to charge it once every 26 hours of usage. Pretty much just like your phone. And if you are unlucky enough to be involved in an incident, then just the airbag part of the jacket can be replaced at a dealer. Earlier on this year at CES, Alpine Stars joined the party as well with their own take on the airbag vest. The idea behind it is basically identical to Dainese's D-Air system. The Alpine Stars Tech Air, as it's called, can also be worn under any jacket provided there is sufficient room for the airbag to inflate. Alpine Stars suggest 4 cm or more. All of its electronics are housed inside the unit so there are no separate components. Battery life is about 30 hours compared to Dainese's 26 hours and the price is also identical at 700 US dollars. In their own testing, Alpine Stars found that the force of an impact using an airbag system 
is decreased by more than 90% when compared to passive protection and this is really not that difficult to believe. So compared to 5 years ago or even as close as 2 years ago, we really do have a lot more option when it comes to airbag systems. Prices have also gone way down and are now at a stage where most of you can seriously consider investing in this sort of safety gear. For the price of a good helmet, why not get a larger airbag helmet for the top half of your body? Let us know what your thoughts are on this whole airbag debate. I for one will definitely be getting either the Dainese or the Alpine Stars this year after a bit more research because there really is no argument against more safety gear. Especially in Romania, Dave. Anyway, let us know in the comments below. Well, that's the show everyone. If you've enjoyed it, give it a big thumbs up. And if you think you've learned something new, consider subscribing or becoming a Patreon to help us make more of these shows. Cheers and I'll see you on the next one.